everyone good morning good morning good morning good morning come on in and join me this morning come on and join me this morning i am elder geneva i represent lift him up ministry and i'm always here to give the word of encouragement so grab a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you like and just be with me for a little while this morning amen Amen, 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 and amen. Come on in, come on in, come on in and join me this morning. I have a word from the Lord. and So I thank and praise God on today. I thank him for those that will join me now, those that will see the replay. I will start off with a word of prayer. Father, I thank you this morning. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor this morning. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch those that need to be touched, those that are on the line, those that will that will come, that will see the replay, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, we are thanking you and we are giving you praise this morning for who you are. We thank you for life. We thank you for pouring out your love upon us, oh God. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise. Lord, I ask that you open the ears in the, the, to hear and hearts to receive what I have to say this morning from the Holy Spirit. Thank you this morning. Amen. Good morning, Sister Deborah and Sister Brenda Fields. Thank you for joining me this morning. I praise God for each one of you. And so today, uh, my topic is to be all you can be. You know, have you ever felt like you, you've been knocked down by life's trials and things that have happened in our lives. Um, I know, you know, uh, uh, different things have happened to me and I, I, I was knocked down, but through the help of God, the Holy Spirit, I got up. And so the, I'm speaking to that one who may feel knocked down or Whatever, you know, a lot of things happen in our lives. We, 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 we uh, separate from spouses, we divorce, we do whatever we have. We lose, love, uh, lose loved ones. And so it knock you down. I know when I, my son was, was killed, um, I just felt like I, I was just knocked down. I was like the wind was knocked out of me. I just wanted to lay there, lay down, did never get up. So I was knocked down. Amen. But the Lord helped me to get up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Barbara, for joining me. And so uh, everybody gets knocked down, but it's how fast we get back up that counts. You just don't stay down for too long. It's harder to get back up, you know, if when, when we got gotten comfortable uh, down in the pit. And you can even forget how to stand up if you've been down too long. I'm going to read from uh, out of the uh, New King James Bible, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. It says, we are hard pressed on every side. Yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Amen. We thank God for the reading and the hearing of his word. And so we thank God that even when we get knocked down, we don't, and we get up, we, we get up in him, and we will not get to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Uh, and again, I want us to think about how we may have been cast down, but not destroyed. We may have been knocked down, but we are never knocked out. We get knocked down, but we get up again and keep going. Now, those words express the exact thought and meaning of what the Apostle Paul meant uh, many times, but he, he, he was knocked down to the ground many times, but he was never permanently grounded. Through all his trials, his struggles, and his failures, God always, through Christ, gave him the strength to get up and get back in the race. And that's the same thing he'll do for us. That one who may be knocked down 
uh, due to um, uh, 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 substance abuse, uh, 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 whatever, uh, 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 domestic violence, whatever, we can get up because we can call on the name of Jesus and he will help us to get up. Now, it's interesting to note the um, the contrast between between Paul's outward circumstances and his inward comfort. Outwardly, he was troubled on every side, but in, inwardly, he wasn't distressed. Outwardly, outwardly, he was perplexed, but he was not in this. In, in inwardly, inwardly, he was not in despair. Outwardly, he was persecuted. But inwardly, he was not forsaken. Outwardly, he was cast down. But inwardly, inwardly, he was not destroyed. As with Paul, so with us. When we face with defeat, whatever circumstances we may be faced with, we too can have the inner strength through Christ to turn our failure into victory. Amen. Amen. He will do it for us. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Meek, Sister uh, Carolyn. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Hallelujah. So whatever we may be facing, we know that we can get up. Now in the sports, you know, like the box, uh, boxers, you know, they, they can be considered, considered not that. I know you have seen some. I don't really like boxing, but I have seen it, glanced at it. And the he beat the, the uh, person be down. One of the boxers, boxers be technically knocked out. But if, if a boxer is knocked down and unable to get up to his feet and gain his balance and composure before the referee, referee counts to 10, if and when he get to his feet, he's given a standing eight count. If the referee feels that although the fighter is on his feet, but he's in no condition to continue to fight, the referee will stop the fight, and the boxer is considered technically knocked out. Then there's the three knockdown rules. Now, see that the the book of Proverbs it tell us a righteous man may fall seven times, but he rise up again. So it's good to know that no matter how many times we get knocked down, we can get back up through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the good thing is, we may not have our full balance and composure. You know, when we have been through different things, we may be just, you know, we don't have that full balance, but we we, we, we getting up. We got up. But just the, the mere effort of us trying to get up grabs God's attention, his immediate attention. Hallelujah. Don't care what, what trial you may have been through. Uh, through or going through. If you try to get up calling on the name of the Lord, it grabs his attention because we please him uh, by, by faith, faith in him and what he will do and what he can do. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches us that in our weakest state, that's God's, God's strength is made perfect. <clears throat> and because of this promise, God always shows up in our weakest moments. Every time we're knocked down in life by some tribulation, some disappointments, some heartbreak, or some trials, even the storms of life, we are not distressed because we know who we can call on, who we, we know who will help us. Amen. Good morning, Renita Edmonds, Renita Boo Edmonds. Thank you for joining me this morning. Prophet uh, Renita Edmonds in the house this morning. <laughs> I thank God for each one of you all, Sister Carolyn, Sister Meeks, Sister uh, 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 Brenda, Sister Renita, I mean, Sister Deborah. Just, I thank God for each one of you all. So through Christ, we can get up and go on. As someone has put it, man's extremities is God's opportunity. I was talking with this young lady the other day, and that's what gave me my topic. I was just telling her, I said, you know, you've been knocked down. You've not been knocked all different kind of ways. You've been in this relationship. You've been in that and just been knocked down. But I said, but God is telling you to get up. Knock down, but get up. Yes, get up. I said, because you can be all you can. You can be all you can be in through Jesus Christ. I said, so get up. You've been knocked down, but get up. 
Hallelujah. So through Christ, we can get up again and go on. And sometimes, you know, we, we may feel that we can't get up, but get up, keep moving. So uh, when we are at our worst, God is at his best. When we are down, God is up. When we can't feel like we can't get up, God will lift us. Hallelujah. Now, Jacob, he was down, but God lifted him. Joseph was down, but God lifted him. Moses was down, but God lifted him. God lifted David. He was down. One thing about David, his heart was, he had a heart for God. He, he loved God no matter what he did. You know, he did things that wasn't pleasing, but he loved God. He was, the Bible said he was a man after God's own heart. And see, God, he He wants us to be like that, to have faith in him. Hallelujah. God lifted Samson. He was down. Peter was down. The whole history of mankind testifies to the fact that God is the great lifter. We, we don't have to walk with our head down. The Bible says in Psalms, I believe, 25, he's the lifter of our head. Of our head. You know, sometimes when the world has beaten you down, you've been through so many things and trials and tribulations, you may walk with your head down. But God said he's the lifter of our heads. We can lift our heads and look up to him. Hallelujah. Because he has all power in his hand. Hallelujah. And we thank him. Hallelujah. We've been surrounded. He, God, again, he fixed broken hearts. Your heart may be broken. Hallelujah. But he, he fixed broken hearts. He'll put it back together again. It may be broken in pieces, but he know, God know how to put it back, back again. He, he, he fixed broken hopes. Hallelujah. Broken homes. Broken health. That one that may have a health issue this morning. God know how to fix that. He fixes. He's a fixer. Hallelujah. We are surrounded and we are battered by troubles, but we are not down. We have to get up. We have to keep moving. We are not sure sometimes what to do in different situations, but we know that God knows what to do. So all we have to do is ask him, God, help me. Show me this. Show me this. Show me how to do this. God is real. And he's by our side. Hallelujah. And we can pray, God, help me to know how to go in and out among your people. That may be one that they need a word from you. And, 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 and you have maybe I've been through that situation. So, you know, I know, you know, you tell me what to tell them because I have experienced that. That's the way God is. You know, we go through different things, but it's always we can help someone else. When they're going through that situation. Hallelujah. We are, uh, but God, he never leave us. We have been thrown down, but we haven't been broken. We may be still hedged in sometime. On every side and troubles, oppression may be present in our life. But God is. God is. Um, uh, Psalms, what is that? Psalms 46 and 1. I never forget that scripture. That's the scripture the pastor used when he uh, when he uh, 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 eulogized my son. God is our refuge and our strength. Hallelujah! God is. He's everything that we need. God is. God is whatever you're going through. God is the hope. God is the one that can help you. God is the one that can fix it. No matter what, what we're going through. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God is. So we don't have to be in despair. Hallelujah. It may come, but, but it'll go away. Hallelujah. Because we have a hope is in Christ. Maybe you're being per persecuted right now. That one that may hear this later. Or, or, you know, you may be persecuted. Harassed in a way that causes suffering. Hallelujah. But God is. There are many who are forsaken or forgotten. But God is. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. He is the way that we can be all. We, we can be all we can be through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We may be knocked down. But God, through God, we can get up. Because we are counting on him. Hallelujah. God never promised us a life free from troubles. No, he didn't. 
But like this good boxing match, we are going to take some punches through life. We're going to take some punches somewhere along the way. But we must also learn to defend ourselves by arming ourselves with the word of God. Because God said his word will not return to him void, but it will accomplish what it purposed to do. God is our strength. Hallelujah. And we arm ourselves with his word. Hallelujah. And, and so when we are, you know, we can always count on his promises. Hallelujah. Because whatever he promised us, he's going to do it. He's going to fulfill it. It may not come when you want it. Look like it might not, it's not coming. But God, he always fulfill his promises. Whatever he has promised us, he's going to do it. Hallelujah. Sometimes we have to wait. You know, the wait may be seem long, but we wait on the Lord. We wait with hope. We wait with trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. And like that good box, boxing match, we're going to take some punches. Like I said, we're going to take some punches through life. Hallelujah. But God is, he's the strength of our lives and we can get up. We must also learn to defend ourselves by arming ourselves again, uh, like I said before, with the word of God. Not just quoting the word. But having faith in God, the word, and, and, and having faith in his promise, hallelujah, faith in the word of God, when we read that word and, and internalize it. I, I, I was telling uh, uh, someone, I, you know, I minister to uh, people that are addicted to um, alcohol, and uh, I was saying that... Um, you get a scripture, ask the Holy Spirit to give you a scripture when, you, when you're reading the word. I said, because when I was going through that, I said, uh, he gave me 1 Corinthians chapter 10, I will, verses 12 and 13, I will never forget it. A little, old, I had a little, old, uh, one of those little green Gideon Bibles. I was reading that. And he, and as I was reading, it looked like that scripture jumped off the pages. There is no temptation as such, but that that is common to man. But God, who is faithful with the temptation, he'll make a way for you to escape. Because you're going to be tempted. And like I said, when I stopped drinking or whatever, my nephew came by one day with, oh, I brought you a 40 ounce and blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and so you're going to be tempted. But I said, so you get a scripture Ask the Holy Spirit to get I say, as you're reading the word, he'll give you a scripture. You might not want that one, but he'll give you one that you can hold on to, that you can internalize. The word of God will never, the word of God is live, alive, it's active. Hallelujah. And so that scripture, I will never forget it. That's been over 40 years ago. And that scripture is just, I just, you know, that's not the only one I have internalized, but that I feel like that's my that's my uh, personal scripture, my deliverance scripture. So whatever you may be going through, God has a way to speak to you. Hallelujah. We may be at the end of our rope, but we are never at the end of hope. Because our bodies, our perishable bodies are subject to sin and suffering. But God, he never abandoned us, abandoned us. Because Christ won victory over death. We have eternal life. All our risk, all our humiliation and trials are opportunities for Christ to demonstrate his power and presence through us. When life knocks, down, knocks us down, remember you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. So get back up again. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? Yes, yes, we may get knocked down, but thank God we are knocked out. So we don't have to be knocked out because we know God is real and he's able. He's with us to sustain us, to deliver us from whatever trial and tribulation we might be going through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't tell it unless we've been through it. That's right, Sister Deborah. We can tell him, tell God what he did Tell people what he did for us because sometimes we'll say, oh, you know, I used to, you know, back in the day. Oh, I don't know enough scripture to witness to somebody. But you can always tell what he did for you. God is a fixer, Sister uh, Brendan. Yes, yes, 
He is a fixer, and we thank God for the word. Hey, I, how you doing? Like and share. Yes, God is good. You just getting on our. Right? We just we thank God. We 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 talk. We we are talking about how God. We we may get knocked down sometime, but we can get up because Jesus Christ died for us, so that we we will have the power to 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 to. To trust in God, hallelujah, and knowing that he will raise us up, he will get us up, hallelujah. I know some of us have different, have been through different, different, different things, uh, you know, that have caused us to be knocked down, but God has raised us up, hallelujah. So we thank God, we thank him, and we give him praise on today, because he is a fixer, hallelujah. He is a way maker, he is our strength, hallelujah. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we thank God for what he do for us, for us, how he has brought us out, how he has delivered us, hallelujah. I thank and I praise God. Thank God for each and every one of you, Sister Deborah, again, Sister Brenda, Sister Meeks, Brother Art, Sister uh, uh, Barbara uh, Jordan. I thank and I praise God, and I just pray that God will just continue to bless you all bless, continue to bless me as we uh, look to the Lord because he's our hope. He's our strength. He's the one that we can count on. Hallelujah. He's the one that will deliver us. He's the one that will help us. He's the one that will bring us through all through the trials of life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. I pray that you touch each one, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Each one that is on this line today, that is on this, this uh, call, and I pray for those that will see it later, hear it later, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch her, touch lives, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, that every experience that they have been through, that they will reach out to someone else, hallelujah, and tell them what you did for them, how they were knocked down, but how you raised them up, how you got them up, how they trust you, and how they can be all that they can be through you, in Jesus' name. And so, Lord, I thank you today. I give you praise. I thank you. I praise you, O oh Lord. I thank you, God, that each Saturday morning, each week, you give me something for your people, oh God. And so, Lord, I thank you. I pray in the name of Jesus until we meet again next week that you, oh God, will continue to bless and, and give us a word, oh God, a topic, something that will touch hearts, oh God, change lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, sometimes we get perplexed and, 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 and the enemy come against us. Hallelujah. But we know through you, through prayer, prayer changed things. Hallelujah. Prayer changed things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, Deborah. I mean, uh, Stephanie. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. He is our light in the darkness. Hallelujah. When things are dark, when you're walking through that darkness, that tunnel, like you uh, don't know what, don't know which way to do, what, I mean, which way to go, what to do, but God is, he's a way maker. Hallelujah. And so Lord, I just thank you this morning. I give you praise in Jesus name. Until we meet again, we will continue to give God praise and for, uh, um, and there may be someone who will hear the replay that do not know the Lord Jesus. Do not know the, know the Lord Jesus Christ. Just pray this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. I realized I have sinned and let you down. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Lord. Create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. I want to be saved. And so if, if you pray that prayer, you are saved. You find your Bible-believing church in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I thank you and I give you praise this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.